What's up, Bee Fishing family? Today, we're going to talk about my kayak. We're actually in the backyard, and I'm going to do a series on from bow to stern on different parts of it to maybe help you guys out on things that you may want to add to your kayaks. Um, YouTube helped me out a lot in the beginning on getting different ideas. A lot, I straight up did exactly what I saw on YouTube. Some, it gave me an idea to sort of morph it into my own thing. So that's what I'm trying to do for you guys. So this is starting the series. All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about electronics. Um, this is gonna be part two of my Pelican Enforcer 100 Angler uh, modification series. So what I've got is a Garmin Striker 4, um, several different Scotty mounts to make this happen, a hole in my kayak where the wiring comes through, and in this front hatch, we have the battery and a waterproof case. Let's break this down. We'll start inside the hole with the battery. Everything you'll notice inside my hole, just, just to help you guys out, I thought it was really, really nifty. I don't like things sliding around. I know you guys don't either. So everything is Velcroed. Got a little nice industrial Velcro here and in there where it just sits and stays in place. This battery is, I put a little, you know, stopper hole in there. It's not completely waterproof, but it's better than just having a straight hole in there with silicone around it. Um, it is just a regular seven amp hour acid lead battery. Works completely fine. It's just a little heavy. Obviously you guys can go with lithium and probably save yourself a good bit of weight. Um, but I've got my own little wires that I, I rigged up and pinched off on it. And it pretty much just sits in here. I can take it out and charge it, or for the most part, I actually just leave it in here, unclip these, these cables that I, I rigged up that actually go to what the Striker 4 came with. Um, and I just charge it from here. I've got the same type of plugs on my trickle charger. This kayak obviously came with a fishing rod holder right where the Striker 4 sits. Um, we can actually unmount that. So it came with a fishing rod holder right there. I went and bought a Scotty Mount lockable rod holder. Um, I did get the one that came with this plug and I'll explain why in a minute because this is an open hole into the, the, the kayak. However, this mount never comes off. Even if I take the Striker 4 off, the mount I bought, um, it's a Scotty Mount also uh, for um, a fish finder. This always stays on the kayak, in the kayak, locked. Um, but what I did is I knew I needed a place for these cables to come through the kayak. So what I did is I cut an exact hole the size of that plug. So when I don't have these wires run or I'm going without my, my striker for, I can just plug that hole right up. It's right in there when I've got the wires and everything tucked in. Um, it's not very often that I go without it, but if we're going in a creek, I obviously do not need to know the, the depth or know where the fish are because the depth is not very deep. On the other side over here, we have the transducer. Um, this is another Scotty mount. Um, all these are Scotty mounts and it's the same thing. This one is just not an in-hole. It's a, um, I mean, it's, it's an above mount. It, it does have a locking pin over here so you can actually press it, unlock it, and pull the thing out if you needed to. And I do that a lot again when I'm at the creek. There's no need for it, um, but a lot of times you'll You'll just see me. Um, if I'm in a lake and I don't want it, I'll flip it up because it does add some drag, obviously, um, when you're paddling, um, and it'll definitely pull me, pull me to the right. But there you go. It's a it's a Scotty mount transducer mount on a Scotty mount rod holder that is above um, above the hole. I just bound these cables up. They they don't interfere with me because they're you know past my feet. I just leave them sitting there with enough line and I've got it zip tied all the way down to the transducer. But there you go, that is the electronics. Thanks everybody for watching this video on my Pelican Enforcer 100 Angler. Um, whether it been the midsection of the boat, the front of the boat with all the electronics, the anchor trolley, the back of the boat with the crate or the 
PVC work. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you some ideas on what to do with your boat. If you like this video, smash that like button for me. Let me know what's going on. If, if, you, if you like it, don't like it, leave me a comment in the section below. I want to know where you're from. Um, it'd be really cool to see what part of the country everybody's from or what part of the world. Um, just give me a shout out in that comment section. And as always, if you want more content, hit the subscribe button below. Um, that'd be super helpful as we grow this channel and you can join the bee fishing family. But hey, for now, I gotta get back inside. The sun's going down. I hope you enjoyed it for bee fishing. We'll catch you guys next time.